Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. It's Mama Brooke. Just so you know, I'm almost at a thousand. I know that's not a lot to you big YouTubers, but it's a lot to me. Thank you to everybody. I really appreciate it. My face is like mm, 70, 30, I guess today. Not too bad. So I thought I'd talk here for a minute. Well, I can. I just had a shower and my hair is still wet and I got my eyes always get bloodshot when I shower. I don't know why I always have in my life. I don't know what that's from. It's not so either. It's just the way my eyes get with the hot water. I am going to do another one. I'm going to do Joanne Gangs. And I looked online and I found one that she did on HDTV. So I'm just going to mock that one out. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm having fun doing it. It's a lot of work though. So I have another thousand dollar challenge to do a room. Now her room's probably, I don't know, I'd say eight to $10,000. I looked at some of the prices of her furniture and, you know, you're looking at $1,000, $2,000 for a sofa, $600 to $1,000 for a rug, things like that. So I'm going to mock up one of the HGT, HGTV rooms that she did um, in the past. And I am going to see if I can do it for under 1000 again. So follow along. I know I can do this. You know I'm good at this stuff, right? But I'll show you how easy this is again. I really, really enjoyed doing the Ralph Lauren one. Um, I would probably do another Ralph Lauren room, maybe a bedroom or something, because I really like him as a designer. And I might do the Studio McGee because she's pretty big now too, right? But we'll see. But let me know if you like this kind of content because I'm going to continue to do it maybe once a week or something. We'll see. And I'm going to see if there's a better program for me to do it where I can cut and paste better. But I'm going to look into that this week. So follow along and let's see how much we can get this down for. Hopefully we can do it again. So as you know, I said already we're doing a Joanne Gaines living room that's been on HDTV. So she has a buffet in this room, a beautiful mirror in this room, a chandelier. These are things I'm picking out of the rooms. She has double sofas, other love seats actually, a wicker basket, a sofa table. And so what I'm going to do is go on Facebook Marketplace, a couple crates, and try to mock this room again. And I'm going to do it on a budget of a fireplace as well, on a budget of about $1,000. So let's get busy and see what I can, can come up with. Okay, so I found a sofa table for $65, got them down to $50. Not exactly the same as hers, but I could paint it or stain it or whatever I needed to. I found a love seat, great, almost like new for $100. Couldn't find two the same, so I decided to go with uh, two chairs instead. Those were $200, got them marked down to $150. That was her best price, she said. Um... I thought that was fine. It matched just the same as having two sofas, really. You might need to, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit more. This was brand new, still in the box. $250. I got it down to $175. She said that would be the lowest she could do on that. Beautiful, though. The chandelier was $75. Got it down to $50. This coffee table, not exactly the same, the one that's in her picture, but it was $50 down to $35. So another great deal. You could add a little rubbing, what's that, gold rub on it. The, the carpet here was $50. He said it was like four months old. Come on. That's like amazing. It's identical to the one that's in the picture. So I didn't even barter on that price because there wasn't any point. $50 was so cheap. And four months old, how can you go wrong, right? Uh, the lamp was $20. I think they have the shade on this lamp upside down, but that's easy enough to fix. Just turn it around. And I didn't bother because it was a deal all day long. The candle uh, sticks that she had in the photo, three for 30, I did three for 20. These were 10, so I didn't bother bartering. These were 10 as well, didn't bother bothering, bother, bother, bother <laughs> bartering, sorry about that. And then I went into look around the room a bit more and I remember there was two crates. I found two for 40. I got them two for 30 if I wanted them. I told them I was on a challenge and they said they could do it for 30. The wicker basket was 20, got it for 10. 
Yeah, at the thrift store, I probably could have got it cheaper, but I'm on doing this on Facebook Marketplace. F three pictures for 50 and got them all for 30 So got a deal there as well. Maybe not exactly the pictures she had in there, but they could work beautifully, have the blue tones in them and that. So there's blue in that room for sure. I like the sailboat one myself. And then um, I did start scoping around and tried to find the topiary as that she had on the buffet i did find two for 25 and these ones were brand these ones were real and he said it's firm i found three vases for ten dollars didn't bother bother bartering again this one was beautiful for 15 again didn't bother there's no point that's a beautiful vase um that was on the coffee table in the picture these are 25 cents each, a dollar for four. How do you go wrong? She had them on the fireplace and on a few of the tables. Um, this I was not in the picture. She had a white one, but I thought this matched the rug perfect. It was $8, perfect for the room. And then the buffet, this is a deal all day long. Actually, I'd like to buy this. It's $50. Didn't even ask because you, how, how do you go wrong with that? Now, this would need painted, but that's just a little bit of paint. That's nothing. The books were $15 for all of them. Just take the jackets off and you can make them look like old books because they're hard covered. These were $40, $10 each. I asked if I could get three or four for 30. He said yes. Fireplace was free as long as I could pick it up today. They're moving. Um, the mirror was 12. Didn't bother bartering for that as well. I thought it was a deal all day long. The grand total off Facebook Marketplace was twelve forty five minus two seventy five for what I bartered with. So the grand total now is nine seventy thirty dollars left over for flowers or paint, probably paint. Now I'm just showing you some of um, Joanne Gang's uh, her line of furniture and the cost of it. And this is where I came up to the fact that the room would have cost at least eight to ten thousand dollars had you done it from scratch, but. I just thought I'd show that. And I just want everyone to know, I did not tell anybody I was buying anything. I told them I was on a challenge and what would be the best price you could do. And uh, people commented before, oh, that's not nice, you're misleading. I didn't mislead anybody. I just came right out and said, I'm doing a challenge for a YouTube channel and I want to see how cheap I can get things for. Some people bartered, some people didn't. And, you know, you go with the flow, right? But the pillows were a good deal. The guy was, they're from a staging uh, company. So he's like, yeah, I just got to get rid of them. He gets new ones all the time, I guess. But anyways, that was my challenge and I did it again under budget. And I did have $30 left over, but there it is. Ciao, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.